a wrathful emanation whose implements are the skull crown of wisdom and the knife of penetrating methods that sever inverted threads. Your appearance and voice causes the earth to tremble. Your form is more terrifying than any Asura and tears asunder the madness of malefic vampires like the first day of a new moon. You herald the destruction of all forces of darkness and ignorance, protected whose daggered fangs are equanimity and elation, whose body blazes with fires of wisdom and the roar of a thousand lions, causing evil like jackals to scatter. And just like the angry yak catches its enemies on its horns and shakes the very life out of them, you destroy any and all inner malefic forces that obstruct our path to liberation. Black in color and fearsome in appearance, your activity is beyond perceived comprehensions. Consciousness that is unseen beyond time, you are the great black one who breaks the shackles of tangibility. Your presence is beyond matter and untouched by Samsar. You reside within the fabric and threads of consciousness that permeates the cosmos, indestructible and primordial and sentient awareness of higher consciousness. You are that which is beyond the reach of chaos and decay. You are the foundation of Dharma's path, part out of a wind-blown fire, you burn away the dross and trample all twisted thoughts and deeds. Welcome back, everyone. This is Sephic Esposa, Black Earth Productions, Blue Flame, Healing Arts and Occult Science, Temple of the White Dragon, back on another segment. I am here with Patrick Gleason, one of the members of the Mystery School who has been initiated so as to jump right into things here patrick it's been a while since we last spoke directly to our motherfucking fire i appreciate what you just said to me yes god damn it i am a wild motherfucker i don't give a, <laughs> give a fuck i don't i don't i really don't that's what makes you a man you know that's what makes you a man you're honorable you cut it up perfectly man like this whole full moon in aries business for me it's just fucking straight out of the gate with the fucking horns babe. <laughs> like boom it fucking freaked me out man like i'm just like okay. rolling with nature you fucking taught me dude like you even like when i started sending you you know like sample one two and three and you're like what fuck's going on here <laughs> i'm just <laughs> like hang on man hang on man we're on some vicious shit and i didn't know exactly how to take, take it. it listening and i determined that you were making declarations yeah. against these lower forces <laughs> it was fucking brilliant Man, like, it was good yeah yeah i was sign up for ulford Nar training the wolf fucking found me through you kind yeah. i'm here to learn i still have things to master i'm still dodging witches and little people's own personal agendas, even though they're the closest to me as well. I really fried out. I took a risk, I took a chance, and then bang, good people or bad, entanglements or not, you keep on the path, your own foot in front of the other. And there's a solution, like, sign me up, dude. Like, um, the wolf fucking found me, mate. <laughs> you know, I, can, I can pick up a pair of balls by following people like you, Mark Passio, Michael Tassar and David Whitehead and every other wolf that's out there, man. They're everywhere. Like, they're all coming home. And I'm just in awe. I'm just in awe at the magic. Get the fuck in the back seat and shut your effing mouth now. Yeah. I want to get creative. I want to open yeah. doors up. Oh, man, that's how, that's how, you know, you've had similar, you know, I know. I fucking have. It's all too fucking yeah. ironic. I literally live over the original birth waters of the earth in... The Ozark. It's very sacred land here in the American territory. Yeah. And what's actually here is buried under 40 miles of cataclysmic rubble 
yet still yeah, remains God, yeah. in terms of what once was and it's the original birth waters of the actual earth itself and wow. there's prophecies surrounding this area i bet you know, there is in terms, in terms of the had, mesoamerican yeah. mind tradition spoken about in native american tradition it's pretty awesome here i love it here shit's getting cleaned up i mean i just hopped in fucking tardis fucking yeah but the tardis is is, is here, man. You were mentioning about you landed in a place of the holy waters and this ancient folklore and prophecy and you're stepped right in there and stood your ground and just, you know, you're probably guided there in some way as well. So many wolves around the world are in position. That's how the great father of all and the mother of all put it all together. They saw their world war nightmare start to unfold, click, 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 bang, bang. I mean, they probably being time lords fucking knew the, the exact hour themselves. I had all these little pin drops here and there and like a an unzipping like i told you about 1998 and that was a huge unzip and then i had another unzip about a year after our session you helped me with all that man and you really opened up sagittarius uh yeah, areas I'm, I'm not an area how's your band going dude how's your guitar playing dude lupus and is <laughs> taking off with a motherfucking feral fury Right, <laughs> we are writing some serious shit. That's awesome. So I'm public now, exactly like you told me in the tarot read. So I can say whatever the fuck I want to whomever. You got major stellium in terms of fire magic. It's your position in the world, as I've said, in terms of the ascendant conjunction to your moon gate, and then of course with this Neptune in the twelfth house back there. You're dipping into things on the multi-dimensional level. The moon gate. I got my moon in the twelfth house as well, man. So. Very acute psychic ability. You are a seer. Those recordings that you sent me, they sounded psychotic as fuck. It was. Psychotic. I was like, what the fuck? I haven't filed away. I love your fire, man. Exude it. Especially in terms of your communication, that spark of fire with fucking RAM. You know what I'm saying? You lit the fuse, mate. I mean, everything I say about you're going to fucking not have to worry about a fucking thing, mate. All the wolves and brothers out there, they're all coming home, mate. We're walking this reality through where the bugs are going and they're not getting their World War cyborg robot tyranny. And if anyone fucking does do that, I'll fucking wipe them out. And it did sound psychotic, didn't it, mate? I got <laughs> fucking three out. <laughs> it sounded like definitely a Seder activation and evocation a bit terrifying in the way you were laughing what the fuck's going on with patrick holy shit <laughs> 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 fucking got <gone> nuts <laughs> right no man this is how it went down how i got to that state yeah so um the vacuum cleaner of my mind is just threading it all together with all the doubt and all the fear and it was a process of eliminating all the fear and I remember thinking, well, if I'm supposed to be this person, this tribe that's coming back, be the fire mage, I better fucking own it. Isn't it brutal? If you go with it, you need to pull back. You can. When you understand <clears throat> the end goal, this whole dream that you mentioned to me of Excalibur, it's good. And I'll maybe we have to clean house. Fuck yeah. We're still on that grail quest. These guys, they're done. This WEF bullshit, it's all flipped. And I'm getting back to the magic of the ages, right? We know yeah, it's what the fuck is up, but still billions of people have their heads firmly up their asses. I know that's why that's why I find X is a good space. X so, is a good platform. I'm actually on there now too. I'll be overseeing things, mate. We're on the organic fucking timeline. I met some more crew in this local area where I ended up, and I'll come back to the whole magic of ages in a second. It's a lot to take in. With these guys, got invited to play chess with some magicians, meeting cool people and having completely random but not random, no accident kind of meetings with people. That can be a lot to take. I do understand, and there's a lot of turmoil in the world with all the witchery, and that's why I've been speaking it hard and typing it hard. Some of those recordings that it was frightening. So if it was fucking frightening to you, Con, I fucking hope it scares them. Fucking shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they are fucking done. I'm going to get to the magic and why I can speak the way I do like that. Alan, That's because... the attitude that we have to have. If we do not become more terrifying and more vehement and more yeah. determined to fucking yeah. succeed and anchor the higher here, people are obsessed with what the fuck they're doing. We need to be even more obsessed with what the fuck we're here to do. And, and they what... can go fuck themselves. I get from a certain vantage point the indiscretion. Mark Passio's right about literally everything that he's fucking saying. 
still flipping it back, we can fucking win. We can fucking override this fucking shit. But it is about getting the attitude in fucking check. You're dropping into that shit. You're not allowed to have fucking firearms, okay? Here where I live, there's no fucking laws against that shit. You can go buy a gun like it's a pack of fucking gum. (laughs) No, I fucking love it. We go out shooting all the time. I just picked up more firearms, right to their arms. But the freedom of fucking speech to speak, to evoke, to declare. They don't just want to castrate your fucking balls. They want to sever your fucking heart and tear out your fucking Mm. tongue from your fucking gullet. Because, again, the tongue is directly connected to the heart. So the whole Muslim ritual, cutting off the throat chakra, six feet apart is the expansion of heart field. And to basically verify what I said about 2020 and my warnings in terms of Fenrir. I said it. I said Fenrir is about to be unleashed. And in terms of the Ragnarok, we had a psychic cataclysm happen in 2020. It was psychic. So all this atavistic shit and then people losing their fucking minds and all kind of stuff because they didn't have fucking done the work. Yeah. We've been on this shit for 20 fucking years before 2020. Yeah. Now it's iconic. It's going to get fucking worse, man. It's, it's, oh, really? It's not, it's not fucking over by, by a long shot. As far as your life is concerned, your field, your domain, it's fucking done. And it's like that with mine, too. Thank you. I have to be careful because it's a very fucking delicate situation. And I know these heads can fucking explode, but yeah. I have a feeling I might be able to calm and cool things down. Like, you've heard me fucking wild as fuck, right? Sure. I can fucking get stuck. Because I landed here in Uruguay, it, it was a reminder of a simple life where yeah. people are not wanking their fucking brains off with their ego. And they're fucking magicians are fucking everywhere here, man. This is no mucking around, Seth, because I totally feel your position, man. And I'll be the roaring, roaring, like I will burn you with my voice and my intent. And I'm magic is spilling out of me right now, mate. It's been spilling out of me for weeks. I'm right on the line, right? It's a fucking basing of things. Dealing with the fear, dealing with the guilt, making a choice, forgiving yourself, forgiving. And this is the fucking magic. Because I was so fucking hateful. I fucking hated so many cunts. Because I fucking got bullied and blah, 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 everything. All, everything, you know, loneliness, abandonment, blah, blah, all those things. Whatever, you know. And, and, and I can remember my attitude as a kid. and was like, fucking, fuck, what the fuck is this place? Like, I'm looking at my family <laughs> going, right. who are these fucking cunts, right, right. man? Like, who I are can, these? I can relate to that. But then, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but then you have to roll with it, you know, and then you get scarred and this and that, and then you come out the other side. I mean, I'm right out the other side. Like, oh, I'm just fucking right out the other side, man. Just in that full knowing. I based myself. And as I'm learning a different language, what I'm finding completely amazing, accessing a different neural pathway, right? It's Saying actually that, very conducive for a fire magician. You spoke about you being on top of water because you're the water magician. I'm on fucking top of a speaker. Yeah. I'm on top of the fucking mountain, mate. Your position in the world is not just that in terms of a fire magician, but you're also a gatekeeper of wisdom, okay, in terms of your self star. Okay, that's a major portion of your actual disposition. So that in terms of communication and the scales in terms of wisdom have definitely ignited this fire magic. So when you go, when you sit at table, you are there to bring wisdom in, in terms of fire to the fucking table, wherever the fuck you go. And you're looking for the other fuckers to correspond with. And so you're around other magicians now that you can correspond with and flow with. and don't have to deal with this insane shit. Yeah. And this is how lucky awesome. I am. And this is how, and, and it's what had to happen in order for this voice to do its work, right? Yeah, yeah. And the guy that invited me, he would kind of check me out. We would check each other out for like a couple of days. And then I just started doing the fire ride. Like I switched him on. There was something in me, something that was dormant in him or or, or, or not. I, I don't know. And this is like one of the gifts that I do have, Sethicus, is I'm so based now, mate, because of the magic of ages. Uh-huh. And so I've got my own, I've got a fucking training ground over there. And it's so cool. It's all hanging on this tree. You're the one. And like being in the trees, living here in the trees, yeah. man, there's eucalyptus everywhere. Here. It's just like Australia, but it's in South America, mate. Okay. It's in Uruguay. No one can fucking extract plants because fucking you can't. And fucking I'm, I'm like, mate, like we're, we're going to, my goal is we're going to have to just fucking get, Look, man. get the attention. 
yeah. get the attention and just walk and just like just everyone just like fucking stop. We fucking get rid of the bugs. I'll fucking start brainwaving everywhere and I'm fucking doing it all the time. Yeah. I just had to deal with the whole fucking blowout and mate, I'm sure there's footage somewhere of fucking Thor right on my fucking shoulder, mate. And Odin, like all of them. Like it was just That's your cause. Like, that's, that's your genetics. Oh, fucking pen wagon, like how the fuck, mate. Like I'm a steward, like with an E W A R T and oh man, like we, I'm looking at your blueprint, right? Things in terms of Mercury for you when it comes to the foundation. That's the conjunction you have with your sun gate and also Venus, tribal codes, stability, foundation is what launches this shamanic power that's there. And without the right foundation, it's been lying dormant. But now you're saying you got your shit in line, all the oh, stuff, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's, boom. Still, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's starting to really come out. Because you are that. I, I see that within your templating. Not just the fire magician, but you have shamanic codex as well. You are a seer, clearly with the moon gate in the 12th house conjunction to your Mercury and fucking Pisces, man. And this yep. is the thing, right? Well, I've had my own recognition, fighting worm time. Good, man. That's what I say, you know, about getting this fucking attitude of victory, right? Yes. Because it exactly. is about our state of fucking mind. If you don't have the that's, mind that's, of a fucking well, winner, you got the mind of a fucking loser, a coward. But, and this is what I had to um, deal with because, you know, I was the runt of the litter in my family. I was the runt of the litter in, in school. Okay. Okay. So I bullied all through primary school. I had so much fear. I couldn't understand, like, how a look could hurt. So, like, we're talking about, you know, inverted fucking snakes incarnating to do their fucking shit to us, as you fucking would, would know. And for me, it was just all about powerlessness from the fucking get-go. Cut yeah. my dick, my skin off, do a little fucking weird injury on the stitch up there. Like, just complete, like, embarrassment. You know, like, that's how I call it. And then getting whatever, like abused and you know i don't really want to go into all those memories uh, i That's think i fine. told you about it it doesn't fucking matter now because this is all part of the fucking magic it is tough because all that programming and conditioning for years as soon as i made that decision i went well fuck i have to take this fucking this is bullshit like it was just like bang world war like missiles firing i'm like okay fucking fuck fucking shit you gotta and you would be the one fucking doing that. And I know that's fucking wild. You, you know, like, fuck, you watch me go, car. Fuck, I'll fucking switch on everyone, car. No. Everyone who needs to fucking wake up, like, I'll do it whichever way, whether it's that way, whether it's come fucking sit down and just have a coffee, car. You know, like, let's just talk about it. I got the base and I fucking own all the demons. I'll get to that. <laughs> but, man, that sometimes I, I just... fucking love it, man. <laughs> yes. What I've done with level two depth and also where I'm taking things now, we are now officially Temple of the White Dragon. Okay. Officially Temple of the White Dragon. If you go onto the website, I've made updates with everything Dude. front page, fucking everything, man. We got the skies, mate. And it's no mucking around. This is where we're at. Everything that needs to be in place has been put in place. Just like you had to go a windy road to get to where you got to. And you're happy, man. And this is how the things have stitched up with me and how I know what I'm saying is true. And I like you because you're my favourite. And guess what? Worm tongue was fucking feeding in my ear every day about you, Carl. You know, I was just like... <laughs> I, got, I could only imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that motherfucker. I never want, to fucking never wanted me to fucking do my dream with Do it, man. This is how the cosmic mind is working through me. Sometimes it's just a little shift because everything was fucking going to bullshit and then boom, it's fucking flipped. All the pain and suffering and powerlessness and going through life and being with fucking these dark bitches and doing dark things myself, you know, or, or punishing myself for fucking small things, Khan. You know, like like that was the program that, that got put in into me coming through like the other end and like really literally came down to like the build up to the, it must have been the full moon and like it just must have been we just said the eclipse Everything, i did the magic on the eclipse at the exact moment that they said the they were going to i was literally in the path of the eclipse it was right over my property oh here. maybe whoa what happened man what'd you fucking experience there was a massive purge and a release that happened that particular day but the build up 
in terms of what happened before the eclipse. It was just shit coming to the fucking surface. I don't get to escape doing the fucking work just because I know. Fuck, I know, man. I'm still going through trials and rights and being fucking tested, going through the Hang fucking on. grinder and all this different kind of shit, man. But when the eclipse Hang happened, there was a massive release and, and things, you know, did get put into the cosmic motherfucking trash can, so to speak. Mm -hmm. We just had the, the full moon in Scorpio on the 23rd, yeah. you know, just a few days ago. And it's cool because High Lung's on their ritual tour over here in the American territories again. Wardrun is going to be coming again. They keep coming in with the grids and they keep anchoring every place they go. It's just a little bit more, a little bit more cutting, you know away, what? cutting away, cutting away the fucking bullshit, man. Because they're fucking magicians, mate. They're switched well, on. Cut. Like That's all a part of, of what I declared happened in 2017 in terms of the ancestors awakening and i know it's why they did what they did in fucking 2020 because the codex of our people is fucking activating why do you think our people are the main motherfucking and i'm not talking about caucasians the caucasoid motherfucking imposters okay i'm talking about carpathian whites i am a carpathian white man i am not caucasian we are not no. caucasian they label us caucasian but me and my people we are carpathian Okay. Carpathian. It's the difference is this. The Caucasus Mountains is where these motherfuckers landed. Speaking about the fallen on uh, and, also, and also Mount Kyla uh, up in India. The, the uh, Carpathian Mountains is where our ancestors emerged forth out of the mountains after the Ice Age. Okay. Then went into Europe and colonized the land, went up into the north again. And then from there went to the fucking east. The records that have been kept all go back to Dacia. And the symbol, this is interesting because the yeah. album that me and my drummer are going to be putting out, it's called Acrimony of the Dragon Wolf. And <laughs> listen, 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 Dacia, where our ancestors hailed from, the original symbol that they flagged on their banner was a fucking dragon wolf. And this was coming to me before I discovered this during my research and study. And this goes back to our fucking roots, man. So my codes are activating in terms of all this shit. You're fucking talking to a dragon, fan, and and I know you're a dragon. I'm dragon lineage. Fucking so am I, man. Yeah, Gleason. What does that mean again? Your name. It means the strong hand uppermost. Strong hand uppermost. <laughs> man, Isn't it awesome know. knowing who the fuck you are and what your name means? But it was such a trip. It was such a trip. I got something else to share with you. I tell you the motherfucking truth. This blew my mind. My mother's lineage, right? And I hail the lineage Boza. That's my father's lineage. Keepers of the sacred tree. That's what the name means. I'm studying uh, my uh, mother's lineage, my grandfather. His name is Mr. Lamar. The term Mr. quite literally means Kemet. That's the actual name that they gave to ancient Egypt was Mr. Lamar. Mr. Mr. I'm looking up the word Lamar. It literally means liquid gold. So, Mr. <laughs> so Mr. Lamar literally means the liquid gold of Kemet. Fuck. And the fire magic that I have within my template is also in my North Star. This funny thing about Satanists, I just have to say this shit. Because it did, they did bleed into the New Age and stuff like that. I'm just saying this on a side note. They deny gods, they deny ancestors. But then the very next tenet, they claim to be God. How can you fucking uh, the gods yet? It's a fucking good fucking job. Fucking it's a fucking backhand. Uh, no, it's, 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 it's a fucking shit. insane, dumb, fuck-tarded fucking bullshit. It completely <laughs> contradicts itself. Because it's about being a fucking man. You just have to know how to fucking put your foot down. When I say the gods, I'm speaking of the ancestors. We are them. We are the accumulation of our ancestors. Look, man, you got like 120,000 fucking ancestors backing you the fuck up within Dude. your blood and bones waiting to fucking activate. And that's every fucking man, woman, and child out there on the face of the earth. Your testimony about where you were to where things are now, you've obviously leveled the fuck up. And that's what this is all about. Mate, mate, mate. X is everywhere. We are now officially an ex school okay and this is going back to the original temples that existed speak about the ancient wisdom councils and what i'm here to implement this is the biggest fucking goddamn occult library on the face of the fucking earth let alone accessible online just on a side note but we're an ex school so you're mentioning the x you're seeing x's everywhere that's why i'm saying it man so go ahead 
Ya 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 Fucking Jesus, fucking get on the toilet and recognize himself and fucking kick some ass. That fucking Jesus fucking night promote was a fucking pussy. Fucking in a napkin and fucking full fucking shit. Fucking mask, cunt. Fuck. Right. Nah, I'll get you on that. Fuck. You made me out to be a fucking. Fuck, I gotta come. Fuck my four names. Sorry, boy. Shit. Fuck. I'm lucky they haven't called the cops. They're good people, but we're not on talking terms right now because right, we're right, hey, you, should, you should see me on on the fucking mic nowadays, man. <laughs> oh, I fucking haven't been sleeping. I haven't been fucking sleeping much, mate. I'm good on four hours now. I haven't either. I, I've I've been up two or three yeah. at a time, man. Just activated. Hey, these magicians, they're the same. Yeah. And the thing is, and I've got lots more to say. Okay. And I, oh, I, I fucking love you. Fuck, I've missed you. No, I can't. Fuck, I've missed you. You're good. You're good. We're flipping the script and it's about everyone. It's not about fucking who's better than fucking who. We're, all the resources are here. We can do it smartly. You're fucking in baseland anyway. Whoa, the pyramids are there, Khan. There's fucking aquifer. It's fucking June. Hello, metaphors. Right. And fuck, she'll be fucking scared because of fucking magic. And me owning all the fucking demons. I fucking own them all. So they fucking have a golden ticket, just like every fucking cunt. And it was up to me to make a fucking decision, which fucking clicked in, cunt. Fuck. I fucking just went, <laughs> I fucking do it. I fucking offer everyone a fucking golden ticket. That's it. I fucking just try and fucking work my shit out. Get the fuck away, you wouldn't touch it. Fucking cunt, man. Fucking sew it up. Fuck, that was fucking heavy, man. So it's not just like, oh, it's me. Like, oh, I've got them handled, mate. When I, like, I'm in control. But fuck. <laughs> Hang on. Fuck, mate. So I own all the demons and they're fucking hungry cunts because they fucking love what they do. But they're like, nah, I don't want to be in a fucking robot. Bill Gates, fuck you. Yeah, we're fucking done with this experiment. We're fucking good guys, you know. We're fucking, we're fucking hard masters, mate. We fucking know how to fucking do deals. And you're a fucking stupid cunt because it was all part of the grand fucking master plan to fucking strip away your power and fucking give it to boy Patty. That's fucking how it was, cunt. And I, I got it so easy, mate. It was fucking... It was just fucking... Like fucking picking up the breadcrumbs, being in baseland, fucking... You'd have to be like on a farm somewhere in Nimbin or something, somewhere beautiful up in Byron Bay and in the sticks, and they got places there. Well, they're fucking warriors there, can't they? I meant that. Yeah, you got you gotta get out, man, and do your rituals, man. And when it comes to Galder, say there, it's fucking terrifying shit. <laughs> <laughs> you said I it sounds like fucking is, and, and people don't get it because of the fucking <laughs> fury. That, that happens when you seethe forth. It's a seething forth. You're burning out all of this fucking shit and it's flying the fuck out. It's going back to the fucking abyss and you're sealing it the fuck off is what you're doing. Fucking 100% fucking right, Sethicus. One million because I fucking got them all. That's their fucking, fucking destiny and they know it. This is one of the fucking secrets. Do not house them in your fucking temple. It's everyone's but, uh, housing hey, them, they're fucked. Every fucking entity answers to me now, mate. Fucking everything. You don't, because you're a fucking Valhalla. Valhalla is Udenma. That's where we all hail from originally. Wow. Mate, we're here, dude. I, I I'm bringing video, it in. I got a video about that, proving it, archaeologically speaking. This is archaeological wow. evidence, motherfuckers. You can't refute this shit. Yes. You reminded me of, like, what fucking that is, Carl. You, Mark. You, you, your two voices was, like, probably fucking, you know, like, and, of course, you know, metal bands and, like, you know, Wadruna, like. If you have not heard my music yet, you got to fucking hear it. I actually haven't practiced today in, in about three hours or so from, from now, but uh, awesome. we're in the process and, and of creating the new mythos to anchor. Oh. That's what I'm going to do with the first album.
Uh, that's awesome. So what are the guys like? Are they fucking good guys, man? It's just me and my drummer. It's just two of us. Just the two of you. It's two of us. Oh, Don't have any other band members yet. You know who Steve Hughes is, the comedian? Steve Hughes. He's from Australia. Yeah, he's from Australia. He's actually from Sydney. He had two bands back in the day. Which ones? One Sorry. of them was Slaughter Lord, and the other one was Sadistic Execution. Yeah, Steve Hughes, he played drums. And this was around the time when metal and black metal was really starting to take off in the early 80s. And especially in the early yeah. 90s, Sadistic Execution came out with a song called The Magus. I'll send you the fucking video, man. And he's a drummer. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send you his, while well, it's still legal, performance you're gonna laugh your fucking ass off really in fucking <laughs> sad and i actually was in contact with steve hughes before he went on tour he hasn't got back really? he said he can't come on the black uh -huh. earth productions he knows about me and he's like oh yeah i know that black earth productions cunt like he's, <laughs> that's how you guys that's how you motherfucking stop it's like i know that cunt <laughs> See, that's Auss that's fucking aussie talk yeah 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 that's a, it's a term of endurment actually it fucking is man yeah yeah, but you say that in England or over here in the American territories, people are like, like what the fuck you say to me, motherfucker? Did you just call me a cunt? Yeah, it is, <laughs> it's not taking yeah. over. That's a fucking hilarious. It's fucking, you're walking the dream walk now, mate. Fucking, yeah. fuck, if this is really happening, and I am this being, and I accept that I am. And the way I see it all, how, like, the whole Catholic bullshit. You're a strongman class in terms of your mother's lineage specifically. Same thing with mine. Mate, we were Catholic raised, so that was like, you know, the bulk of the problem. We all That's were, weren't we? Fucking goddamn it. This is just fucking excellent, man. You're fire. This is what I'm talking about in terms of people getting results, in terms of this path work. We've heard them roar. They've had their time. And guess what, mate? You fucking can't block out the sun once he's fucking been lit up. And I can only thank my dearest brother, Seth, because... Back to the flip. So Worm Tongue in the movies was a bloke, but in this movie, yeah, yeah. there was a woman and... Fucking hot, fucking Draco. I sent in with the fucking spider. Fucking get this car. You know what's interesting kind of about that? A lot of us, ironically, were paired up with these fuckers before 2020. Hey. Um, fucking <laughs> sleeper cells, man. Fucking sleeper cells everywhere. Well, guess what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Everyone just fucking hang on, hang on, hang on. Nah, you should fucking see some of the shit I fucking posted, cunt. I had the fucking thunder and lightning. So I provided, and she provided too. Like, she wasn't like one of these fucking lazy bitches that fucking pops out a kid, walks down the fucking street with a fucking latte and just going, look at me, I can be a mom, I'm powerful, I'm just going to watch Oprah, whatever, and then I won't fuck my husband because then I'll make it all about me and the fucking kid and we're all fucking dickless and fuck. And then you're going to fuck up that fucking kid and just fucking create and produce more of the same fucking pussies. Not anymore. So I'm doing my magic down there, and I'm fucking on fire. I'm fucking like, I'm fucking... When I fucking laid that card down, I got myself a fucking witness. I made it fucking naturally, lawfully legal, because that's how these fucking cunts play. They just do the whole... Blah, 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 which is fucking fuck off. One fucking witness being laid out like I'm reading a fucking book. There's fucking heroes everywhere. And, mate, no one wants to be worshipped. This is the whole fucking sorcery, right? Can you fucking told me that whole savior programming thing? That biggest fucking lie, cunt. People recognize me and they fucking recognize themselves at the same fucking time. Because they already know they're from Earth. This whole fucking bullshit that you're a fucking born a sinner, you know, filthy Belial demon they inserted into me or Solomon Temple, whatever these sick fucks do. You know, I say, okay, I'll fucking lose every fucking memory. Fuck, I ain't fucking care. I'll fucking pick it up again in the fucking future, can't I'll fucking see in 2000 and suck fucking years or something. You know, that was me. I was having this fucking cathartic moment, fucking, I was like, fuck, you're never fucking staying here again. Fuck off. Fuck, fuck off. Fuck, I had to be so fucking brutal. You know, it's all picking it up, picking it up, picking it up. And I'm like, of course there'll be fucking other people involved, you stupid fucking cunt. Which was the whole reason why I won the, the bet in the first place, which happened on the eclipse, mate. We're fucking living the dream. And do you know why? Because you're a fucking boss cunt. And there's so many fucking of us dragons here that it's just fucking time. The nightmare is fucking over fucking one i'm getting to stuff give me just let me roll bro let me roll hang on
You see, this this is a good example of someone who's lit the template. This is what I'm fucking talking about, right fucking here. This fucking power, this energy, this attitude, this focus, everything. While the whole world has their heads up their fucking asses, we are transcending. We're living a different trajectory. And it's the trajectory I've spoken about for years, the original timeline. And there's two main timelines on the fuck out. Are those eucalyptus? Fuck it. Let me bring you in. Sorry. What kind of trees are those, man? Eucalyptus trees, mate. They were, were the imported from Australia like a hundred years ago. God knows fuck. When I arrived, here, I'm like, fuck, I'm down the south fucking coast. <laughs> like, where's Black? Like, where are all these fucking surf spots? It's fucking like Australia used to be when I was a fucking kid. And really? One you know what's fucking interesting about the area that I live in now? It's like the place I grew up when I was a kid. Yeah, man. Fuck, I bet you got a fucking, probably a fucking exact fucking. <laughs> I, no, my, my land and, and where I'm living now, it's perfect. It's everything I've watched. Hey. Look, I got a bamboo forest in my backyard, bro. Okay. Dude, Cheers. we fucking got, we fucking got it, cunt. I fucking bought this specifically for this chat with you. Okay. Fucking boom. You fucking wow. did it, mate, because you woke me up. And you were fucking way motherfucking hardcore than me, can't. But I would like to catch up. Listen, man, the, the last guy I talked to this fucking week... He was initiated two fucking years ago, and he hasn't made any fucking progression. I had to fucking regulate on his ass when it came to certain fucking things, because I'm not interested in fucking tourists. You want to come on, you yeah, want to be one-on-one, -on -one, and then you want to go to another fucking school or go to another fucking modality. Good luck with that shit. You'll be back around, because he went <laughs> get all this other shit, and then he hits me up. I just finally realized, blah, blah, blah. Like, all you had to do yeah. was stick to it from square fucking one in terms of this. Because, oh, no. because if you don't work with the template, then nature and the yeah, universe can't fucking meet that on the level that, that it would if you did, is my point. Okay, my life is yes. and others as well. Obviously, yours in terms of where things are now, and you're just lit up, man. Your template, boom. You know what I'm saying? You, this fire magic, I can feel it. I can literally feel it. You speak, wow. and even the recordings that you fucking sent, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You know, I just wanted to fucking get you a sample. <laughs> yeah. no, I, was, I, was, I was a bit shocked. No, it takes a lot to shock me. And I was fucking shocked. Oh, no. I'm happy to shock you, cunt. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Because <laughs> it's the fire and the passion and raw capacity that we have coming from a place of core intelligence it can't be dude. fucking contested is my point dude, we, it's demons dude, we own the, these demons dude we own the we right. own the realm mate i owned it dude this is my point when it comes to our lives when i say that our kind incarnated to end the war of aeons i literally fucking yes mate yes mate. i'm calling it 26 i'm calling it 26 in the goddamn motherfucking war how are we going to do that it's either going to be true education and everyone's got to learn how to tap the well of true intelligence from within their core template, or it is going to be fucking war perpetuated by these fucks and they get fucking sucked out on their provocation. Yeah. And this is what happens. Yeah, what happens every fucking time because people don't understand the game and they don't know how to war the field. They don't know how to fucking, you know, protect the integrity of their own fucking domains. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking hard, man. I, fucking, I have my cock and balls. I've had the biggest fucking healing throughout this set because that was a fucking another thing it's on now like it doesn't matter like it'll fucking hold up a fucking house if necessary i'm not wasting it that energy your sexual energy is creative life force energy if you learn how to master it and you're not just spilling seed all the fucking time you and you're putting it into your projects or your goals your objectives you need that fucking energy and this is why we're bombarded as men pulled out and all this while they got fucking porn and strip clubs and all this different kind of fucking shit out there. They know how to trick a man to give his power away. It's through pleasure, chasing the pleasure principle into escapism. People are having sex for all the wrong fucking reasons. You got a really strong libido 
if you learn how to master that shit, you will become unmotherfucking stoppable. Is my point. Oh. Back to power. Back to the healing. Back to the magic. Because mate, they fucking marred me in every way. Cunt. Like the horrors. Like way fucking worse. Got way worse. Like fucking nah. That's what I'm coming here to fucking chop head off for. Oh. This particular fucking timeline that we are on right now, in terms of anchoring that in, in, into the ancient future, it is the pivot motherfucking point of Aeons. Right now. Right now, in terms of the timeline, humanity is getting its ass fucking kicked. That's the current condition. It's a fucking fact. But as far as the trajectory in terms of the ancient future, I've already fucking seen the timelines play the fuck out. Going into 2025 and 2028, where we are right now, it's still a major time of healing to remember. And so all of the fucking shit and detritus and madness and bullshit, it's risen to the fucking surface. So it can finally fucking be seen for what the fuck it is. And then those that have an actual fucking brain and a heart fucking ignited, route this shit the fuck out of the reality field. Ignited not only the tribal shields in terms of the template but activation of, of the planetary shields that fucking annihilates this fucking ai shit okay yeah that's the winning card Boom. and a lot of people are gonna go with that fucking timeline it does play itself the fuck out but this all goes back to the prophecy the hope he have spoken about it and in terms of the tradition of my ancestors the white dragon prophecy is something that I am here to implement. There's not that many out there that understand this. Sethicus saved the world. Hear me again, cunts. Sethicus saved the world. I'll say it again, just in case you don't know, and you all fucking saved it with us because you are all the ones fucking pouring forth your fucking magic and the fucking memory of fucking what we once were and fucking hail to fucking every fucking warrior that fucking did their bit. Because I bet they fucking hit up all. They hit us all. I bet they hey, Man, people I still don't fucking get it, man. They don't get it on the level necessary yet still, but they fucking will. And I know you do, man. It's obvious. You're, you're lit the man, fuck you up. No, you're lit the fuck up, man. By hardcore. I love it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot, man. This is just fucking awesome. This is 100%, mate. It's everyone. What happens when every fucking demon has to answer to someone? What does that make you? True. Not a try hard. You want to be God with your little fucking jewelry and all your fucking everything, and you want to fucking make everyone fucking suck your dick, be the fucking octopus. That's not a fucking dragon. A dragon fucking dreams for everyone, mate. Everyone can have the paradise because we fucking walked into the promise it's just that i gotta fucking start speaking it's all lining up so far like i'm talking about untold wealth but i'm not talking about that sethicus in a way that you're gonna fucking be a cunt with it this whole gambit needs massive fucking leverage man in the temporal world how the fuck are we gonna build every, it otherwise man? everyone has to win that was the other thing right no i know i know that's saying back off cunt Exactly. That's you drawing the fucking down. That's you having self-respect. That's you not going to fucking take this shit because I'm a man of fucking greater value than this and I'm not going to tolerate you trying to suck me into your fucking abyss. Oh. Vicious, vicious, fucking vampiric, parasitic fucking creatures. I am talking about the spider. Yeah. I have had a shamanic read. Like, you probably had psychic reads. You're talking about those called. parasitic fucking Vadura San Artel entities the fucking spiders of set the tunnels of set the, yep. the spiders of set type I, in context i went into every pit and that's why i won i went to hell mate i'm the dude dude and you are too obviously we all are like you said and that's the key we all learn to remember uh, who the fuck uh, we yeah. are we all fucking it's rise we all sit side by side and we all fucking win this shit yep that's, that's what i desire it's about the fucking no. truth and the birthright. You want everyone to be happy, man. That's the golden dragon. It's one golden rule. It's not this fucking other horse shit, which was just a big blah, and how we got into this bullshit. I mean, it's Yaldabaoth, of course. I had to go right to the AI because I've been battling this fucking metal demon that Louder would tell me about and fucking then Wormtongue would be like, blah, blah, blah. 
The metal guard's the AI, man. I've got him, mate. That's the magic. I injured myself. Do I magic, mate? Far. I've been stopping, Colin. Yeah, you, you're pushing your capacity. <laughs> it's stretched. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck, mate. Oh, there's been times I feel like I'm going to fucking literally tear out of my fucking skin. <laughs> no, I, I brought I get to the fucking. Is, okay. So, what is that now? So, what is our skin, right? Like, we, I, I really think this is we're living forever now, come. Like, I, I, I don't care. Well, there will be a generation, and see, I have to mention the nectar of Athanasia in terms of this elixir. It meets Please. the addition of the goal of consciousness from within the core, doing the real work. It meets that to prime the material so you can go through the process integration of actually embodying the fucking gold. Yeah, mm. this is very important, all the things that we're getting into here. You know, keep things wrong. I got a project I'm working on right now. Fucking goddamn it. I gotta I gotta get it out because I'm taking everything to the next fucking level. I'm the motherfucking wolf car. This is my fucking teacher wolf con. And the fucking boys are back in town with all you other motherfucking wolves. And we're gonna fucking walk this in all of us. Because it's time. I flicked a switch on the solar eclipse. And everyone's played a part. We all fucking did it together. How many of us have all been fucking brutally fucking beaten in battle? Like every one of us cunts, I can fucking guarantee it. Because they couldn't fucking stop us. Because when they were fucking jamming things in our bodies or whatever fucking horrific torture they were doing to us, there was always a breath and a fire and a part of us that said, I'll fucking get you back. Yeah. I got control over all of mine. And in my mind... They're all mine, no matter who they're fucking with. You want to go to Valhalla? Fucking, they're like, could you imagine cunts coming up to me going, holy fuck, there's Pluto in the bar. He's all fucking hooded up, cunt. Like, <laughs> how, like, fuck. They'd walk up to Pluto and go, ah, fucking got you, cunt. Fuck, yeah, come fucking have a beer, cunt. Fuck, didn't I play you hard? Ha, oh, you fucking idiot. Anyway, we're all here. Go, go. They want out because it's just time. It's just time. Like, there's no doubt. Nothing can stop what the fuck is coming. And I'm going to continue to declare it from the motherfucking rooftops. I don't give a fuck what the circumstances are. We're not living in the realm of effect. We are the cause point in this motherfucker. That's the key. That's the real fucking key here. Because everyone's obsessed with what they're doing. What the fuck are we doing? Is that's my point. And when you cross that threshold and you really start to pawn the path of self-mastery, it is mind-blowing what happens when, when your field is actually clear and you get a 360-degree view of what the fuck is really going on. You can, you can see from a vantage point that they can't even fucking see from because they are fucking slave to what they fucking implement. They're suffering too. So I don't give we're a fuck fucking suffering. I don't give a fucking yeah. shit. If they are fucking suffering, fuck them. The dark arts, man. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if they're fucking suffering. This, no, is the, on, no, hand, this hand, was hand. the mistake. I'm with you. This was the fucking no, I mistake we were among the fucking about another group of people. I, gotta say this. I thought we were I'm talking about another group of people. No, I'm going to say it publicly. No, man. Fuck. They're dead. No, here's my, here's my point. It was decided Go. among the councils, okay, and you could take it back to the fucking ancient times in terms of the procession, okay? This is all atavistic shit coming the fuck up. It was decided that they were going to be given a chance. I railed. I railed then against the fucking councils and also railed again before what happened in fucking 2020. I said they're going to do the exact same fucking thing as they fucking did, and I was not fucking wrong. So anything that I've said public on this motherfucking platform has not been able to be fucking refuted. And this is my point. I will have no fucking mercy in terms of my position. No fucking forgiveness. Because that doesn't fucking work. There's no such thing as vicarious motherfucking atonement. There is no fucking mercy. Truth is mind? forever at war with the fucking lie. And it has no fucking mercy. We are like cosmic fucking T-cells. Do you understand? Cosmic T-cells. What, what does a T-cell do in your body when there's a fucking disease and you have a very, very strong, healthy immune system? It eradicates that shit. It doesn't go, oh, uh, can you change for us? No. That is not what the fuck 
happens. When the parasitic consciousness yep. manifested in terms, wow. this this is what happened with those of us that know the fucking difference. And of course, they're trying to kill the entire immune system of the Earth Mother herself. Oh, well, you're dead. Yeah. Oh, Trillions you're of dead. life forms here on Earth. Yeah. Humans are a part of the cell structure of oh, the Earth. Dead. You're fucking dead. No, at this point, they, they crossed the line so motherfucking hard. There is no fucking negotiation, and uh, they are completely fucked. They fucked themselves. Dude, they fucked dude, themselves okay, because listen. they did listen. Yep, they I went too far. Know, they violated cosmic law on such a fucking level beyond anything that they have ever done before, is my fucking point. There is no motherfucking thing that is going to stop the annihilation of these fucking pieces of shit. All we need to do, knowing the fucking difference, is stand our ground and continue to inform and educate. And if they want to go to fucking actual battle, especially here in the American territories, <laughs> they would fucking lose. This all goes back to the kingdom of the Great North. Okay, look, man. The American territories is a melting pot. Our ancestors all come from different fucking places, man. The thing, though, about here... There, there's prophecies surrounding this fucking land. And this, this goes back to the white dragon prophecy. You shared some of this with me, just a snippet. If you go back to our session, if you go back, just you don't listen to the whole five hours. You just listen to the last 30 minutes where you give me a tarot read. You're blowing yourself away uh, as the cards get. Okay. Out. I love tarot, man. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hang on. Hang on. Sure, I fucking got you. Fucking where I which folder are you in? You're in the fucking quit smoking folder to trick worm tongue. Where I fucking have everything at the fucking hell. Is that the actual title of your folder, man? Yeah. Let's <laughs> 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 go look on this. What's up, Dr. Productions? Blue Flame Healing Arts and Occult Science. Where are you fucking right I'm now? In the wrong fucking program. I am speaking Stop with a new initiate. His name well, is Patrick. Down, Paul. Hang on, let me just fucking get this shit to the fucking. You turned me on, mm. and I'm giving you the dinner table and every cunt mm. except the dead that's not far away from their end. Ukraine's overcome. They know it's game over, mate. They're currently scaring the absolute fucking shit out of their fucking little poofters that fucking killed children, drank blood, and fucking tried to destroy the realm for once and all. Big Mama and Big Papa said, it's all a game. And we've just fucking had to say, that's it, cunt. Pulled us from the fucked up timeline that we're on and pulled us fucking back. I reclaimed the womb. That was the magic of ages. I had Robert Kennedy Jr. request me to follow him. I had the Surgeon General of Florida, that um, African-American guy that's standing up against the vaccine, yeah. and he wanted me to follow. Those guys popped up on my X feed and I went, like, that's one of the things where I'm going, okay, this is fucking happening. Be careful. I have to think about things. I can't just like, oh, fuck, I just like, I've been giving it to fucking Israel. I went straight to the ADL. I went straight to Klaus. I went straight to every fucking of these fucking try. I went straight to Trump because they, they king Trump like the Messiah or fucking whatever. That's bullshit. You will fucking drink to victory, Seth. You will drink. To mother fucking victory. I don't know fucking glasses. I've met magicians in the weird. I haven't even told things fucking happening. You know, like I'm switching them on or they're switching me on. And I tell you, we've got the skies. Whoever our brethren are up there, where we come from. Like I'm not a fucking Trump cocksucker because I'm the one fucking calling Trump out as a fucking fake Hydra motherfucking cunt, and I fucking claimed his fucking Mar-a-Lago in Florida cunt. I fuck it's all on anyone, fucking Twitter. Anyone that involves themselves in fucking government is a part of the fucking club. I don't give a fuck what anyone fucking thinks, and and this is the fact. People still have their heads up their asses, and and they're all enthralled to the first veil. I pierced this shit what seems like aeons ago. I'm waiting for people to really wake the fuck up on the level because most of humanity, like I've said, they're all standing at the first veil. It's so motherfucking obvious. You've got to be a fucktarded piece of shit to not fucking see it all for what it is. The second veil is even fucking worse. And the, and, and the recompense of the healing of the core wounds of humanity 
is what all of this goes into. And after that takes place in terms of the collective and people start doing the real motherfucking work and listen, I'm not just some fucking guy on YouTube spitting this shit. This you're is a the guy. A fucking goddamn you're message. The guy. Right. You're the guy. And I'm not saying that. Patrick is saying that. I know who I am. I know what this mission is. This mystery you're school. You're a very, very mystery humble is a man. You own it. The trajectory of this it. mystery school is a fucking legacy that existed before the great betrayals happened. I have evidence that, dude, the shit that's coming, my, my own fucking uncle, my own uncle confirmed our fucking lineage. And I wrestled with all this shit, especially with the evidence taking it back to the pharaonic fucking lineage, okay? And the gold and the manifestation of the nectar, it's all fucking connected. And it cannot be... Uh, I want to try that stuff. I want to try some of that. Absolutely, man. You can get a 50% off discount in continuance. <laughs> the nectar of Athanasia is the most motherfucking powerful elixir on the face of the entire earth. Yeah. Hang on. Is it all natural? It's 100% pure, hey. water-based. Hey. It's hey. not made with other chemicals and all this other shit in terms of monatomic gold, fucking ormus, or any fucking type of moof kazoot out there. And I explain everything on the fucking website. It's right there on the, on the products page. For everyone to go and check out and read. As long as it's organic, and I know it is because I know this Absolutely. is the real deal. And I take it myself. I, I don't want to give anything it. out that I don't take myself. This Thanks. is our strike. This is our strike this against the going, And I put out also evidence in another segment about the occult secrets of gold. Okay. It's the only thing on earth that wards against the needle craft and what they fucking put in the needle craft. It literally we are fucking the destroys it. We are the goal. And I put the fucking evidence of that out there. It's all there for we people are, to observe. It's us. We are the and goal. So the physical, it's, physical it's a, representation. It's a matter of time until this goes out on the fucking level. But I operate like a fucking ninja on, on purpose because I'm not fucking stupid. Smart. There's a certain oh, fucking you. strategy, and this is also why I work with people one-on-one -on -one, because this takes time. I'm not about... Quantity, I am about quality. Quality. Always, mate, you, you spoke to me for five, terms of, In terms five of the, and a half hours. Taken, the initiation, and it's obvious mm -hmm. here, everyone listening, Patrick has got the fucking results. You got the oh, results. Oh, boy. Oh, this is the gold medal, Khan. Right. And I fucking give my fucking gold medal to you because you woke me up. And I've got plenty more gold myself, Khan. You know what I'm talking about. Mate, high honour to you, Seth Akers, and Mark Passio. I remember hearing Mark Passio recently, and he's had all these fucking little hissy fucking bitches fucking trying to cut him into pieces. I did his How to Become the True Media. Anyway, Mark was saying in one of his recent, he's like, he looked dejected, and he said, oh, fucking, he, he just let it out. He's oh, fucking tired. You know, I could I could tell he, he fucking was really tired. And I thought, fucking some cunt needs to step up. And then as I'm sucking up all the fucking pieces of my life, cunt, I'm the fucking fire mage. I allow everyone else to be their best fucking self and no one has to be a fucking slave. And the golden dragon has one fucking rule, cunt. And there's many fucking golden dragons, cunt. I'm not the fucking one. I just happen to be a fucking voice. And people have been fucking singing the fucking golden dragon all throughout my life, cunt. And it just took me a while to fucking pick up the pieces and they're saying thank you. And I fucking am saying thank you back. I've been fucking on my knees crying and fucking releasing all the pain from my life, all the doubt, all the mental torture, all the abuse, and then just picked up all the gold along the road and fucking walked us home with the magic of ages. I'm getting to that. I'm getting to the AI as well. I go all over the place. Just let me roll. I'll fucking bring it together, mate. Because I, this is, I want everyone to hear this. Like, I'm not afraid. I am not afraid. I've said who I am publicly. Your brilliant mind, your brilliant mind puts it together, cunt, because you're the cunt, and you're the cunt that turned on this cunt. Of all the people, this is how you be a fucking man. Cunt. Fuck off, you know, like mind your own fucking business, bitches. There's no bullshit now. They're scared 
I don't care. Fucking nuke me, cunt. I've fucking got the boys upstairs that will fucking pop your ass, fucking blip you into fucking some realm, cunt. I'm the owner of the fucking realm. I own the realm. This has to get out wide, cunt, not just to the fucking Norse folk. Because it's all Jesus and this and that and fucking revelation, mate. It's fucking, it's everywhere. Kind of. It's like the whole fucking, they want the final destruction. I told you in our, in our Age of Aquarius session, Seth, because that the revelation is just a fucking script that they fucking want. But it's been fucking flipped on them in the last fucking minute. Why do you think they call it scripture? Because it's a script. Yeah, fuck, dude. You're on it. You're on it, mate. You know, you know, because you fucking it's taught me and told me so. You yep. fucking cunts lost because you worshipped your demons. I don't know how it all got set up. I don't know fucking absolutely everything. I got enough well, it fucking all goes pieces. It all the Sumerian Draconian Empire. All of it. Ah, uh, Sumerian. Yeah, right. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Cool. Yeah. Cool. It has a start. It has a starting point. I have the fucking fire now. It is fucking prophecy, and I am turned on, and I'm not turned to fucking try and turn you off. I fucking had your fucking Bill Gates custom-designed mosquitoes hit me because I'm out there working on the wood all day, and there's fucking lots of mozzies here, but there's a different kind of fucking mozzie that turned up about fucking three months ago. All the fucking locals were talking about it. They don't make fucking sound, and they don't get attracted to the UV light for these fucking little things that are designed to kill a fucking natural mosquito. Well, there's something in my blood cuts that's invincible. I fucking should have been dead many fucking times cuts in this life. And it's only because of this fucking great grand destiny that we've all been craving for for so long. And it's here. I claimed it magic because I'm a fucking magician. I'm not a fucking homo in a nappy on a fucking pussy fucking whipped piece of fucking stick that you all fucking cry to while you're all screwing each other over or whatever the fuck and you fucking fake ADL fucking Jews. I'm fucking claiming everything because you fucking prayed to demons, cunt, and you are a fucking demon, cunt, and I fucking own all of you because I fucking gave you a gold fucking ticket to the bar as well, you stupid cunt. That was the fucking magic was forgiving every fucking cunt on the planet. Now, hang on, Seth, because don't fucking roar. Let me finish. Fucking that's on the front page of the ticket, cunt. Guess what's on the fucking back Page of the ticket, like Sethicus and fucking everyone we fucking love. They're fucking half of them are already in Valhalla now, living their life because I fucking also did a blood break. I fucking went all the way and fucking I was getting hammered by the spider. I didn't understand what was really behind black magic to some god Belial. This is the announcement of your thing, okay? And fucking Mother Earth said, Fuck you. I'm turning on the boys. They've been slipping in for about the last fucking 60, 70, 80 years or so. Yeah. And it's fucking game time come. So they're just fucking laying out the cards, all of us, everything. Like I'm seeing everything in a new oh, We light. haven't even made our strike. We haven't even put our hand on the motherfucking table yet. They have. God damn, that's uh, quite the fucking hand, motherfuckers. Fuck. All the fucking hard work that you've done, worked out how to fucking do it, used your own fucking creative spirit and intelligence to fucking deliver the message, cut, to fucking go, hey, fuck, is Thor out there? Because I'm Thor as well. Is Odin out there? It was fucking worth every fucking pain and tear and fucking misery and fucking loneliness to all the way back to being fucking burned at the stake or having to fight a war that you never wanted to fight. None of those fucking cunts want to die. And guess fucking what world fucking war want to be cunts? Jew anti-fucking cunts. That's right. I'm fucking calling you fucking fake Jews, you fucking not Jews at all, cunt. Fucking Levi's in the house and I just... Fucking put on a pair of jeans. Fucking take it, cunt. Fucking sniveling fucking cunts. Fucking wanted to fucking dominate everything. And then I fucking found out. I'm like, what is this fucking thing? What's this fucking curse? This fucking demon? What the fuck is that? Here's, the, just thing. Like, okay. Here's the thing. The crux, the crux of the gambit comes down to two main factions. One is ours, and the other, they're being exposed on the motherfucking level this goes back also to the crux of the great betrayal look th this whole fucking fifth cycle that humanity's been locked down into okay when they announced lockdown in 2020 
it's because all of this shit that has been laying underneath the layers of the overlays, the distortions, net strap snares, all the shit that I'm talking about. When I did the Magog Girl Shaman Betrayal of Thoth segment, published it November of 2019. That sent a ripple out into the fucking ethers in a way I basically took everything the fuck back with that motherfucking segment. It's one of the most powerful dissertations that has ever been presented public on any fucking platform. And it's going to take people years to catch up to that shit. Literally fucking years still. Your There's battle scar. My your battle scar. It takes a certain level it, of pattern recognition to really make it. That's right. That's 100% right. Pattern, correlations pattern in the research and study. And all of my source material is made available in the Black Earth Library. And that's why people got signed up for initiation in terms of the actual mystery school. And I only teach one on one. You get full access. And we're ramping our library up. <clears throat> There's enough in here to last anyone a fucking lifetime as far as research is concerned. The awesome thing about the library, you can go up into the search bar and you type in uh, a specific word or thing you want to look into and it brings it up from the fucking library. That's how you do it. Cool. Type in a keyword in the search and it brings up anything that, that has that in the library so you can, you know, dig wow. through. Yeah. Wow. Cool, man. That's how you navigate the library. My point is that I have all of my source material in the Black Earth Library, where, where I've been able to verify everything in terms of my personal research and study, and also experience when it comes to this fucking path work. I've obviously worked with the template to the level that I've come to, and other people like yourself are now, look, I'm consulting fucking millionaires. I got people starting six-figure fucking businesses, man. You know what I'm saying? Their lives are, are fucking on the fucking charts. I'm saying, dude, 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 I'm the reason yeah, why yeah. for them is because they're working with the template. Okay, this is the natural, organic way of developing dude. an actual path work for your fucking life, learning to discover who the fuck you are and how things actually work. And if you know how to wield call, the knowledge, I call you nature in the universe. Has I to call, event, has to, and has to. I make call. Event. I call you. Elijah. I'll, I'll go. I'll go slaughter the fucking black magicians of fucking Baal any fucking day. I know that story. And guess who I am? Your motherfucking student cut. I'm the cut. There's only one master teacher of this mystery school, and it's the higher force. Hey. Like I said, in terms of actual initiation, we all position ourselves as the eternal student. Yes, I'm be the head director of the mystery school. I created this. But I am also positioned in the same place. And this is the fucking key in terms of laying the proper foundation. Without connection to core intelligence and the higher force, you ain't getting past the fucking gates that I speak of. That trajectory has to be established first before you begin the fucking quest. Learn how to master the science of the circle, make connection to core intelligence, learning how to get a 360 degree view of what the fuck is really going on. Now you can navigate the waters, the storms, the trials, go through the healing rites as well in terms of alchemy, alchemical rites of initiation, right? What we actually experience in terms of transformation. At that point, it's not a topic of conversation. I fucking transformed, can't. Oh, I'm yeah. fucking frozen. You're lit. You're lit. Your template's lit. I can feel it. I can see it. I transformed, can't. It's in my fucking Sage Ramacorn fucking thing that I played around with. The fucking letters are there. And I had the willingness to see everything through like you. Because you told me. Got to see this would A lot of people give up when shit really starts to fucking happen. And now you're faced the magic okay. mirror gate. You're getting fucking attacked. You're the fucking Scorpio Ram Khan. It's a game chart. Astrology is a fucking game board. And once you know the game board and the game it's and the you template, collect all your little the template that we have in order to master the solar spiral of creation. That's why. And ultimately okay. planetary high magic, which is the first system of magic that you learn how to work with before you get into more advanced high magic. Okay. And now level three. Temple Rites of Initiation is going to be coming going into 2025. And this is where I'm going to start teaching the system of magic that we actually operate with. Everywhere, Sethicus. Every person the dude, is fucking on the realm with us that needs to learn your knowledge. Every person. And I'm telling you, Sethicus, the magic is fucking spilling out of me. I don't even have to try. This is nothing compared to what I'm getting at in terms of Temple Rites of Initiation. 
and my name, Boza, Keepers of the Sacred Tree, this is what was given to me in terms of ancestors to reestablish in the realm. Because we were the keepers of this fucking knowledge, is my point. We are this tree. What I, what I explained yeah. about the goddamn fucking nervous system. And the nervous yes. system of the brain field itself quite literally looks like a tree. As above, so below. Once, once we turn people on, Seth, because it's everyone's happy, mate. This is a win-win situation. Exactly. And this is the magic. This is the magic. Fucking oath. Fucking okay. oath. That's... I want to say this real quick right. about astral psychology. We're meant to evolve the template. And if we don't have all the pieces to work with, you can't just work with one system. They all fuse together to show you how to navigate and master, again, the solar spiral creation. And that's just the first fucking spiral. And people are onto this galactic shit. And they don't, they, look, they don't even know how the fuck the moon gate operates, man. Or what the fucking moon actually is. There's no escaping yeah. reality. Night walkers. I'm fucking telling you guys, anyone involved in fucking child sacrifice and fucking drinking blood and murdering and I'm raping right. and getting the adrenochrome, you're off my realm. If you don't take yourself out, I already fucking laid down like it was like midnight, like last night, like or the night before. I sent out the message, if you don't give yourselves up, if you want to be fucking dragged through the street like fucking Gaddafi was with a fucking gigantic fucking table leg up his ass, I'm going to fucking do it. And I'll fucking do it worse than what you fucking did it to him. And if you fucking die because it's my realm and you don't believe in internal life and fucking real fucking magic, then I'll fucking bring you back somehow with the help of some other fucking god that wants fucking to be at the bar with me and Sethicus and fucking play a game of chess or cards and smoke a cigar and drink some very oh, fine uh, fucking... Mahakala. Who's Mahakala? Please tell me. Mahakala is more terrifying than any Asura. Oh, Mahakala. She's 100% benevolence in terms of our type of consciousness. And this is what I mean. We need to become more terrifying. Men in, the West and men in the world need to fucking hear this. This is the thing about right. Mahakala. He owns all the fucking Asura. The word Asura is another okay. word for demon. Vedic. Yes. Vedic. Yeah, and Mahakala cool. is one of my patrons in terms of that tradition. Fucking Indra. Indra Thuna. is the fucking chief of the gods. It's Thuna. This all goes back. <laughs> Malakala, get to fucking work. Fucking take them out. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I got poetry, bro. The evocation I wrote in terms of Mahakala is, is very, very, very fucking powerful. It's, it's more to my personal path work in terms of ritual. But this is how we ward our fields, okay? And you need to make these fucking vampires fear you okay here's the thing uh, about gold specifically they cannot come out into the light of the sun what does gold attribute the sun what the fuck is stargate 4 shining through your window right now you got light coming through your window right now stargate 4 the sun that we see in the sky is plasma motherfucking gold this is what people don't understand about the sun the central sun core intelligence ignition of the gold of consciousness streamline your template now if we have gold in our blood literally physically and this is the point of the nectar they cannot fucking bite or suck our blood otherwise they would fucking be annihilated so again what wards against the fucking parasite this is what wards against all of this dark fucking sorcery this is what wards and gives us that priming of the physical body to go through this integration process so that we can house on ground level our eternal spirits of so-called blood code essence activated that trajectory of what is beyond their good works of consciousness and then you start to learn and start to remember more than what the fuck they know until that happens until that fucking happens on the fucking level and people do the real work you're going to be enthralled to the first fucking veil and i'll say this to every motherfucker out there you still don't fucking know. You think you know, but you still don't fucking know. It goes way fucking beyond the trajectory where most people still are. Like I said, I'm a thousand steps ahead of this fucking bullshit game. 
already won this fucking game. In terms of the timeline to the ancient future, the trajectory of the ancient future, Mm -hmm. where things are now, the the pivot point of Aeons, what's being anchored and has been anchored since 2017. We got our fucking timeline. And I have a little fucking plan given to me going all the way into 2060 fucking five. Look, it's going to take years. It's going to take decades for this to unfold. But first... Cunts like fucking Klaus and Soros and fucking all you fucking blood drinking adrenochrome fucking junkies that told everyone to fucking get your fucking poison jab. What I'm getting at, it's a pitch for your gold nectar. Yeah. Gold and transmute goo. Right. And people need time for my voice to help activate, as well as the voice of the master teacher, Elijah, by the nectar. And get rid of the demons because I own them all. And if you come together in, I'm saying it, in groups of three and you declare it for each other and you believe it together, it will be. You fucking crusty fucks have already started dropping off. Whoever else of you fucktards have fucking disappeared Front page of everyone's golden ticket. Even my fucking brother, whom I fucking hated, he's still my fucking brother. He comes from Pendragon blood, so we were just mixed in with the fucking Solomon shit. That's where I'm seeing that at. I became so petty. You know, I'm way beyond that now. He's a nice guy. She's still a nice girl in some respects, but when it came to her and me, it was a different fucking read. It was a different fucking template because of our sinistry of our charts and fucking the sinistry. And she's a complete flip opposite of mine. When it comes to sinistry, I'll, I'll tell you a secret. You want to be with someone that has the same energy as you, not opposite. Okay. Wow. Listen. Wow. Take it to Taurus and Scorpio. Yes, there's a very powerful attraction, but the level of repel and chaos that can unfold on a polarity, not to say you can't come together, because, you know, it's earth to water, fire to air, right? And and all of the elements do well with each other, and everything comes from water. It's drops of, listen, our entire fucking existence is drops of water within drops of water within drops of water within drops of water within drops of motherfucking water. And that's why Bruce Lee said, be like water. Interestingly enough, Bruce Lee's grandfather, Charles Maurice Boza. Bruce Lee is a little Bruce Lee. He's a He's a Boza. Dude, there's a fucking Boza sign. I've been looking at it every time I drive past it, like that I've been living here for fucking two years. It's like you fucking calling me like fucking like look again look again i got worm tongue there going he's demon possessed that's what she said about me yeah yeah (laughs) demon possessed yeah what the fuck yeah that's fucking retarded fuck off that's the stupid fucking hurt now fuck off that's what you call a psychological projection i know you are you're the motherfucker who fucking taught me motherfucker so I'm just fucking spreading your word. You've got water and I've got fire, cunt. We're here. The gods consult us, man. And the gods know not to trifle a fucking seer or a fucking shaman. There's respect in terms of correspondence. It's not bowing down to this fucking entity and I got to make a sacrifice or I got to fucking kill a fucking nation to get some kind of fucking favor and some fucking power. We already have this fucking power. And they wiped out our fucking kind. The dark arts in context, man. This has been going on for thousands of fucking years, man. But all of it, in, in terms of what's being exposed now, the last 20 fucking years is unlike any other time in fucking history. And like I said, it's a major fucking pivot point right now. What 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 gate is that? What is it? What are you showing me? Judgment. Ah, right. That gate specifically is when the dead rise. Took it from the Nordic tradition, but even more the Finn cycle. Okay. And we have the kill strike already fucking set in place. It's just a matter of fucking time. The axe has been swung. You've been swinging it. We got the skies now. He's the guy shining the fucking X torch like a fucking bat out of hell. And it took me 51 years to finally get a hold of my snake. I'm the prophecy with 
Sethicus. It's the truth. I care for every human soul that has a piece of the fire creation spirit that is in them. If you're not real, there's no deal. If there's no fire, you won't go higher. If you're an adrenochrome fucking junkie, I'm going to fucking chainsaw your fucking mouth in half and fucking stitch it up again with someone else's help and do it again and keep you alive until you learn your fucking lesson. You Freemason fucking cunts, you know I'm the fucking king. I've already fucking claimed the crown from the fucking Windsor bullshit family and all you fucking weird bullshit fucking Jew horseshit fake cunts that tried to fucking flip the whole fucking switch and I fucking flipped it back and everyone gets a fucking golden ticket, but on the back of the fucking golden ticket. And that was the magic. I read the play cunt. He's a fucking warrior cunt. He's the fucking God of War cunt. He's the one that looked at you fucking on that stick and said, I'll fucking get you cunt. I'll fucking see you again. You fucking watch it happen and fucking you'll be fucking sorry when I'm back. I'm Dr. fucking death for fucking all these cunts that have tried to fucking destroy the fucking beauty of creation. Creation has fucking spoken. It's spoken through Sethicus. I'm just a guy. I'm on an adventure. But the master up there said, oh, look, look. And I'd been doing, I'd been on the war path, you know, like collecting things along the way and fucking. This is after I'd done the magic. This is after I, I, I said, okay, I'm that guy. I fucking got the astrology read of the ages. I got rid of worm tongue. If you fucking got no fire, you go no higher. If you can't feel, it's not real and it's no deal. There's black goo and all that fucking shit where it is in your veins, blah, blah, blah. People have been, blah, 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 blah. it's all fucking been set up. Fuck, I'll take your fucking land and give it right back to every one of those fucking cunts that you probably knew were going to get fucking murdered. I'm giving fucking Hawaii back to the Hawaiians. It's fucking game on for everybody. It's just a matter of fucking how you cunts are going to be in. See, what people need to realize right now as you're listening to Patrick, this is the high force speaking. This is what we are connected to. The people do not fucking understand how things actually work. This is not channeling some fucking entity. This is coming from core intelligence and grid works of consciousness that have been anchored into the realm in terms of the pillars. Okay. And when you are saying what you are, Patrick, just to make it clear, that this is what true intelligence denotes in terms of this fucking paradox that we are in and the declarations that are being spoken are coming from the higher. Right? It's fucking not. Exactly. Listen. And I approve of this message. Good. I'm on the fucking, in the dream state. I, that's why I sent a whole bunch of fucking scary sheep. You're fucked. It's game time. It's dinner time. I fucking own you. I am the doorman of the realm. And I've got a fucking million, billion fucking things that fucking answer to me right now because they all have their golden ticket too. All the dead that you're talking about, Sethicus, all the misery, all the loss, all the ones that have been chained. I told you in our Age of Aquarius uh, segment back in 2020 that the chain's going to get fucking broken. I just didn't know enough back then that you and I would be the fucking whipping fucking chain of death. You called it. And called this, pla it. this platform oh. is privy in context to the fucking occult, not your fucking surface level bullshit, motherfuckers. They still don't get it, Patrick. I can literally listen to anybody and I know exactly what grid work they are keyed into and what they're pulling from and why they're saying what they're saying and also what is beyond what they're saying. The cross streams as far as what I get fucking nailed with it, and this is why I have to clear my field fucking constantly, man. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. You told it's me to make... Fucking, it's been fucking crazy, but the project I'm working on right yeah. now and what I'm getting ready to put out is even fucking more hardcore oh, yeah. and more lethal than the Betrayal of Filth segment because we're about to go into 2025. 2025 to 2028 yes we're still in a major time of fucking healing but but where things are going from there we are going to route out the bottom of the barrel shit that's still leeching 
on the minds of those that think they know what the fuck is going on. And they still have yet to discover and experience what I've been talking about when that ignition actually takes place. Okay. And the birthrights revealed and the codes activate and the ancestors integrate and all of the fucking memories that are there. This is what they have worked to prevent the activation of, of our templates. Okay. That's why they fuck with the genome again, because they know the hour that we are in and they know that they cannot fucking stop this. They can't. No. And no, it's they done. They tried and they may try to This is the thing. When they went all in. That's the kicker. We haven't even put down our yeah. hand yet. We haven't even made our oh. yet. We're still observing their fucking hand going, God damn, listen to me. In terms of the eclipse, and I put this code up. Yeah. I'm going to read it to you right now. Okay. Say it, watch. Okay. Listen to me. This is very important. I'm going to okay. throw this in right fucking now. It happened where I'm living at 1.49 p.m., mm. 29 seconds. Okay. I did numerology on all of this, and all of it reduced to fucking 13. This was directly above me when it crowned. Access the 13th directly in real time, fully in ritual, physically for about four minutes after the golden portal opened in the south node. Mark it. This will not happen again for another 13 years. And when it happens again, it's going to happen in Iceland. Okay? And all of my geomantic lines in terms of how I am personally doing grid work in the earth all converge in fucking Iceland. There's volcanoes exploding right now in Iceland that are spewing gold out of the lava. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. This reflected the templating. Again, I'm going a little bit deeper in terms of the occult and how things actually work. What did I say? When people do the real work, you will see earth changes and you will see things happen celestially within the heavens. This is an earth sign in context to the activation of this template in the earth again okay and it reflects the dragon as well and they say that then in iceland that the dragon is awakening white dragon motherfuckers and going back to what i was saying about the eclipse the next one is going to happen in 13 years we have 13 years we have 13 years motherfuckers we what's have- going to happen is going to happen if there's going to be destruction it's not in oh, trust me, there, it's there, not- there, there, no there will be it's going to get fucking bad yeah. Well, here's my point. We well, have we have thirteen. They're, gonna go all, they're going all the way, are they? They're going all the way. They're fucked. They're fucking insane. They make it. You can't negotiate with the parasite. That's the other fact. Can't. Over the psycho. They're fucking going all they the way. Can't negotiate. Well, fucking who? So am I, cunt. I'll fucking go to the fucking end. Try and nuke me, cunt. I don't care. I'll be back here in a blip, and so you'll be fucking. In their in their fucking you got shit. twenty. You got agenda twenty thirty coming up. You got agenda fucking twenty forty five coming up. And you got Agenda 20 fucking 60. Our trajectory, in terms of what I know and what has been revealed to me, stretches even beyond their agenda going into 2065 onward. People don't understand things in in terms of how to time travel. I am a Skywalker. And this is getting into the Mesoamerican tradition as far as mine astropsychology. You're down there in Uruguay, man. And this, this this is a part of their animist tradition. It's a very powerful system, and Pakal Wotan is the one that brought it. Dude, I'm fucking Red Magnetic Dragon. I'm Unity. It shows the templating of the higher self. It's purpose. It's purpose. Yeah. I am all about purpose. I'm all about reminding people of their original purpose. And your original purpose is to be the motherfucking beautiful god warriors that you all fucking are. And I know who you all are. And whoever else these other fucks are, it's just a matter of time before they're wiped off the face of this realm. Our earth, our heart, our mother, that's talking to me through a fucking tree, 10-minute drive up, 5-minute drive up the road. I have a new club and I have a new crew to hang out at. I've got a fucking training ground. Fucking have to get fit. Do I have to fucking face down some motherfucker? It won't matter what you do. Do your game is fucking through. I got the realm right on time. As Sethicus said so at 49, I did my magic trick on the exact fucking moment that you said. I wrote down though, I drew blood, I fucking I did a blood right, right? I did blood over intent. Blood over intent. That's that's fine. I did blood that that was the fucking having the balls to do that and then sending that 
um, those images that I took on my camera and doing it and fucking going through. And you'll see it. It's, uh, it's on my fucking chat. It's on my, my, my X account, uh, anagram score. And that's a ballsy thing for a cunt to do. But I read the play. I fucking read the play. I got the fucking astro chart read of ages. This whole Jesus bullshit is fucking bullshit. We all fucking know fucking Odin's the fucking hanged man. I pulled out the tarot card on every fucking degree, every major thing. You do it. Pull out your fucking tarot deck, Sethicus, and go through my chart. I'll fucking tell it to you. And again, the tarot is the path of origin. It's the path, well, of, the path of self mastery. I'm only using the major arcana, right? I'm only using that. What deck are you operating with? Oh, it's just a dragon tarot. I love you. You gave me a tarot read with. I want to get that one again. You told no, I'm, me. I'm actually I'm using a different tarot deck now. It's the runic tarot. It's fucking awesome. Oh, cool. Yeah. Like I'd love to get a rune reading from you. So my moon's at 18 degrees. Okay. Well, let's fucking flip to fucking number 18. Cunts. My sun, which is fucking exalted cunts in Aries. And in the Hellenistic chart, it's in the fifth house, which is where it's at. Your, its moon, most your, moon, gate, your moon gate, in terms of my read, is at 18 degrees. That's where they. I, yes. So, so the moon gate is at 18 degrees, Seth. Look at this then. Okay, let's go to fucking major arcana number 18. All it's right, the right. fucking moon. Hear me out. So you're you're on roll now. Uh, my, my son is at four degrees. Okay, this is just to fucking let you know. This it ain't no fucking bullshit. Aries is the fucking emperor. I'm the sun in Aries at four degrees. Right. I've got my Mars exalted in Capricorn at 29 degrees. Break it down to 11. Number 11 for my Mars cut right. is strength. And I'm fucking exalted. And 29 degrees, according to some other sources, is the Time Lord. Venus at zero degrees. My Venus at zero. So it's right at the fucking zero yep. between Pisces and Aries. That's the conjunction to your soul spark, man. So in terms of, in terms of degrees. It's, exalted, it's, it's this combust. Goes, listen, man, this goes, this goes back to foundation at that point of the fulcrum that spark of aries to the first to gate light the fire. With, the, with the fourth with the fourth house to light the fire right right yep hang on yeah yep whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Go deeper hang on just, just a minute. yeah let's go fucking deeper let where's my saturn you might be looking at let me just pull out my chart again yeah, fuck i'm all over the show. so my saturn's 15 degrees right yes so it's the death of how they fucked with Saturn, how they fucking cut off his fucking yeah. foreskin because the foreskin is the connection between the cock and the heart, and they fucking want to cut that connection off these filthy fucking cunts, fucking all in here rather than right down here. Mm -hmm. It's a fucking big difference, man. It's fucking, yeah. it's fucking a huge difference. Mercury, um, 15 in Mercury. So I'm the fucking announcer of death. That, that's where a lot of yeah. your shamanic codes are in terms. My fucking son is opposite Pluto. Again, uh, everyone listening Pluto. in terms of initiation, yeah. the term death means transformation. It's not yeah. the same as being dead. You dead fucks, yeah. you fucking morons, you dead fucking pieces of shit. That don't have the eye to see or the ear to hear. We are here to bring transformation. Like you said, we are the fire whip of motherfucking death. Fuck, in, I've got a whip. In terms. Fuck and in context, got that's the thing. Uh, you have to be willing to die to transform. That's why all <laughs> those things are. So I warn people about the first uh, chemical rates. And you, you will. You have to be willing. Yes. You have to be willing. It's not through. who you are anyway. It's not who you are anyway. Ah, that's exactly right. You have to be willing to look at your darkness. You have to be willing to face the mirror like Sethicus has been saying and not punish yourself. Fucking look at it and be with it and feel it. If you don't feel, there's no deal where we're going.
If you're not real, there's no deal. If there's no fire, you can't go high. It's pretty fucking simple. I own all the fucking demons. It's a very simple hierarchical game for you all, you fucking Freemason cunts. You've been fucking sacrificing blood and babies and death to these demons. I own the demons. And yeah, I'm a fucking death dealer. I fucking got balls, cunt. I'm fucking trining Pluto, right? The fucking Uranus fucking Jupiter fucking conjunction. It's game over, cunt. Fucking grandfather's back in the fucking house. My fucking Jupiter is at five degrees. Fucking Jupiter is the fucking hierophant. Jupiter is my fucking chart ruler, cunt. I'm fucking the cunt of fire and expansion and fucking red magnetic dragon cunt. I'm the fucking shit. I'm the fucking god of war. I'm the fucking ram. I'm the fucking Sagittarius fucking centaur Chiron that turned around and learned how to fucking transmute. I'm the fucking horse cunt. I'm the fucking fire that never fucking goes out now that I'm fucking lit up. I've got the fucking ball in my cord. And they're fucking flipping your ass because they said, better fucking us than you. So keep going ahead with your fucking games and fucking watch me have your heads. Uranus, 21 degrees in Libra. I'm the fucking world cunt. I fucking claim it. I've got fucking palace at 14 degrees. 12th house fucking right in fucking Scorpio in this Hellenistic chart. Different chart reads. Let's like fucking it, pull it all together. Like I said, we, we have our template, but we are meant to evolve it. And you evolve it by... Exactly. Exactly. How they, how they all work together. And then you rotate that shit back into alignment. And you snap the motherfucking chains to the trajectory of the solar north. That's the ignition of your core intelligence. That's the gates of true intelligence cracking the fuck open. And when the first eye cracks open, now you see everything. Now you see it. It's, it's, it's a okay. terrifying okay. thing because... Because not only is it that you will see the darkness, but you will beget the true light in the integration of the ribbon code script of the universal motherfucking logos in terms of this mystery school. That is what I'm here to anchor and implement and teach people how to do. And Patrick has fucking done it. I had to make the choice. I had to put my dick on the line. I had to fucking grow a pair of balls. I had to tell some old dream that was just a fucking dangling piece of bullshit. Fuck off. North node. North node. Fucking in Capricorn. You told me in my fucking read, Capricorn's the fucking mountain cunt. You're fucking meant to be the mountain. You're fucking Odin cunt. That's the fucking path of Odin cunt. You, your destiny consists of you learning how to master earth magic, and that's manifestation. On the temporal fucking level that is potentially meant to be off the fucking charts. It's all about achievement. It's all about getting the award. It's about living by a fucking code and being disciplined, knowing what your goals and objectives are, and narrowing it the fuck down and get her the fuck done. You know what I'm saying? It's about owning your rights to even build or forge a business CEO type fucking level. It's an entrepreneur, basically. North Node in fucking 12 degrees. Well, 12's like hidden, like the 12th house. Like it's fucking been hidden from me for my whole fucking life with fucking chopped up bits and pieces of my fucking... I like, I like how you're going to the degrees and, and the numerology of it and making correlations. This is the correct way, one of the correct ways to actually work with this art. I'm the fucking hangman cunt. I fucking got Odin in me. He fucking booms like a motherfucker. That's, that's the real secret. We are all these archetypes. Just how we relate to them and approach them. Again, all this within. The way it's going to work, other- it's gonna work for me is different than Patrick in terms of templating. But he's cracking fucking codes and unlocking these gates within his template. And that's the fucking key. Yeah. I'm at the fucking table, card. You're in my court. I've got the ball and I'm not letting it go. You want to go and destroy yourselves? Go ahead and let me fucking watch you drown in your own fucking blood. You're still going to fucking go to door number fucking two if you keep going the way you're going. Door number two is fucking the end of your existence. There's no fucking second chances for you. You went too far. You tried to destroy the realm. Mother Earth has fucking answered. I'm a fucking dragon with all you other fucking golden dragons and my fucking great teacher here who fucking snapped me awake with fucking love and dedication and let me grow and did his thing and kept fucking laying the seas and fucking here we are, cunts, at the victory table, even though it may not seem so. So fucking keep all your heads, you fucking cunts. If you don't engage in fucking shit, you don't need to. Step back. Fucking, like what they say here, in, like they get tranky, tranky, tranky. Be fucking tranquil. Like what's the fucking hurry, cunt? 
Nothing fucking stopping me, Con. It's fucking game over, I fucking claim it. The boys are in the skies. And what is this place? We don't even really fucking know. Do is fucking way bigger than what we think. Way fucking bigger. Ascendant, 23 degrees. So I told you my Jupiter, right? So, you know, my ascendant's in Sagittarius. Fucking Jupiter is my chart ruler. Jupiter's fucking sitting in the, in fucking Aquarius country. For me, it's in the third house, which is all about fucking bar. <laughs> I fucking just had Jupiter come and fucking conjunct Jupiter. So it's fucking game on, cunts. My ascendant degree is 23 degrees. Break that down to a fucking major arcana number. It's a five. It's a fucking hierophant again, which is exactly the same as fucking Sagittarius. Got a store that you have in jupiter is a motherfucking rebel yeah oh, it's the game yeah. it's the game yeah. the rebel for you Fuck. fucking the, it's the aquarian star rebel gate humanitarian and is a master communicator here to unveil teach Fuck. and pour out Fuck. and remind individuals of the true organic technology that we're meant to be connected to and also warn about the ai being privy recognizing that Everything that these motherfuckers have implemented, they've, they've derived it from fucking nature. That's all the AI can Fuck fucking do is you. mimic. It has Fuck no fucking you. soul. It has no essence. Thinking that it has more power than what we have, organically speaking. And it's a fucking lie. It's a fucking it's lie. A AI lie. fucking I bullshit. Can't. People think they've seen AI. We haven't even fucking seen on the motherfucking level what they're getting ready to roll the fuck out. I'm going to deal he with is. the fucking goddamn foxes in the motherfucking hen house. Guess who's fucking Lucifer, cunt? I'm the fucking bringer of the fucking fire. Fuck, it's in my fucking chart, cunt. Fucking my There's ascended degree. Discussion in terms of, of Lucifer, but what people don't understand about Lucifer, look, it's all controversy. There's, yep. there's deliberately a difference, so. There's a difference deliberately. Between, listen, and the term Lucifer simply means light bringer. Okay, now light in terms of how the dark ones operate with it use it to blind your motherfucking ass okay but when the true ignition of, of the torch of, of core intelligence activates within the blood and bones we have lucifera within us yeah in terms of the gene code okay mm -hmm. so this isn't some fucking fall, bullshit fallen fucking angel fucking bullshit however 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 it is at the same time and that's the paradox and you don't know the occult if you don't understand the occult and how to approach things correctly, you get very fucking confused, pulled into this fucking bullshit. We don't bow to fucking anything. I, we did not incarnate I have, to bow. We incarnated to fucking conquer and take this realm the fuck back and pull it into we have. And, and, and reinstitute the goddamn fucking birthright. This is what the original purpose and intention was in terms of incarnation in this realm before what the fuck happened to it. We didn't incarnate to be fucking slaves. We didn't incarnate to fucking bow. We incarnated to actually fucking ascend. It's happening but here. It's a basing. Perhaps. It's an opposite. Now I'm flipping. I'm flipping this on this whole fucking um, go, go. ascend to five G. No, it's yeah, a yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, base. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Talk about that real quick. I got to wrap it's this up fucking, here in a minute. It's a basing. It's a basing, and when you fucking look in the mirror. Yep. and you accept the darkness, then it won't rule you. Right. I'll say, I'll say it again. It's a simple game of snakes and fucking ladders. You're listening to the fucking King Cobra. I put the fucking Hydra up to the sun. He's done. I own his ass, and I don't know how it's going to play out with him at the end of the game, but I own his ass. I held him up to the fucking sun. I've got the fucking asteroid fucking Hercules. Fucking right between fucking Mars and Jupiter. Cunt. Fucking nothing's going to stop this. And fucking Sethicus and this band is fucking touring fucking soon. So get your fucking uh, nectar to help yourself and listen to the fire and the water. I'll tell you the name of my drummer. His name is Orion. And he's here. Orion. Right. What's up, man? Just mentioned you. He he just walked up. We're about to have practice, but Orion's here, and that's his name. Oh, oh, Orion. Orion. Yeah, come in, man. Come on in. Guess what is fucking within a degree of my south node? Orion. It's fucking serious. It's fucking serious. You're talking to some fucking serious cunts here now. <laughs> Fuck. 
Okay. I'm in direct alignment uh, with Sirius with my sun gate at 13 degrees. Whoa. See, my north node is in 12 degrees. So the south node is in 12 degrees, yeah. wherever it is, but it, it sits on fucking Sirius. Okay. So we're fucking reclaiming the realm. Absolutely. Look, man, I gotta let you go now. I love your fucking fire, brother, and I appreciate you very much. As far as everything else, um, I appreciate I'm, you, man, fucker. We'll you. be fucking talking. Yeah, excellent, man. As far as everything else, I'm gonna message you after practice today, and we'll go from there, man. All right, Patrick. It was good speaking with you, man. Oh. Fuck yeah, yeah, brother. Hells. Yeah. And with that, I'm gonna wrap things up with this segment. This is a good example of an individual that has taken initiation into the mystery school and has got the actual results in terms of personal path work. Again, it's all very specific to the individual, actual initiation into the occult, laying the proper foundation and getting access to the proper knowledge and wisdom that attributes the universal laws of metaphysics, the eternal axioms, and how things actually work in terms of reality. And to that, with the Mystery School, we are now officially named Temple of the White Dragon. If you go onto the website, everything has been upgraded in terms of the services page. There is a member's link that is on deck for what is coming in terms of level three temple rites of initiation, where I'm going to start teaching our system of magic in context to the true universal tree of life going into 2025 forward. I put out the promotion, and in terms of that, I am announcing it official. Again, we are Temple of the White Dragon in terms of the Mystery School. The banner crest is flagged, the front page has changed, and it is now the true guide and symbol in terms of what this Mystery School represents to the arts and sciences that are taught with the Mystery School. And to that, to plug it, if any of you out there want to sign up for initiation, into the occult when it comes to the mystery school send me a direct email at black earth productions with an s at the end at hotmail.com everything to that's going to be in the description below all of the links to everything that i'm mentioning and also my direct email in terms of contact when it comes to any of this i don't know if this goes in one ear and out the other but you need to hear me send me a direct email at black earth productions with an S at the end at hotmail.com in terms of services, in terms of products, in terms of anything you want to inquire, getting a hold of me directly. You got to get a hold of me directly here. That is how I operate. I'm not some unreachable wannabe motherfucking guru and all that bullshit. I am in the trenches with you. And here it's not about quantity, it's about quality. I've had many mentors in my life. This is how they taught me. And this is also how the ancients taught one-on-one -on -one teacher to student. So again, in terms of that, go into the description below. Everything is going to be there with everything that I'm mentioning here. I advise anyone that has not taken the level one apprentice full rights initiation with me one-on-one -on -one to do so. There are other services available in terms of readings, in terms of counsel, and also full access to the Black Earth Library, which is now up to six terabytes with the interface that you will be able to go into and explore. As I explained, going up into the search bar, putting in keywords for literally anything that you want to look into, all of the source material will come up for you to explore. This is very powerful what we have available for those to whom it's meant. As for those that have taken the level one apprentice full rights initiation into the mystery school, I do advise that you step it the fuck up and take level two adept Wolf and Nard training with me one-on-one. -on -one. This is where I go into teaching people how to master the art and science of hyperdimensional warfare and taking that back to the declaration that I made at the beginning of this segment. Knowing how to work with symbolism and archetypes is the key. And even greater, the keys to your personal template as an individual. 
that the true path requires in light of the integration process in terms of your eternal spirit to soul code, blood code essence. Working with archetypal consciousness in connection to core intelligence and the ancestors of your people. It all did correlate at one time in terms of the ancient wisdom councils. Again, this platform, Black Earth Productions, is privy to the occult, reaching far beyond the surface, even in terms of things that I've already presented when it comes to segments. Go into the archives, go through all of the content. It is a lot, but every single segment on Black Earth Productions correlates with the other, so you can essentially start anywhere. If you're just landing here, then start with the very first segment and then work your way up to the most recent. After a while, I guarantee you that you will start to see the things that I've shared public in terms of reality. And especially if you take actual initiation into the mystery school, coming in through those gates will take you even deeper and further in terms of any content or any other content out there that anyone's presented in terms of my network and also the networks that have been created by those that I've been in correspondence with. It's also to mention the products page that is on the website. Again, the Nectar of Athanasia, made available here with the mystery school that has been created is an actual lineage to legacy, which goes back to ancient times, to the trajectory of what existed before the great betrayals took place. Evidence of my lineage is clear. I also present that in the Black Earth Library so that you can see it yourself, who it is that you're actually hearing here. There are other products available. We have Thunder God Rootvine, we have the Apothecary, we have our Weapons Forge, and also the Black Earth merch. If you're so inclined, get a hold of the shirt and the hoodie to be able to promote as you step out into the public world, Black Earth Productions with us. It's all about getting the word out and letting other people know that the path of the ancients is here and we walk the path of the ancients in terms of the alignment of the original timeline and the birthrights of mankind. And for those that have already taken initiation in terms of follow-up sessions, all you fuckers need to hit me up. If you haven't spoken to me in a while, everything is going to the next level, especially with level three temple rites of initiation. This is Sethicus Bozo, Black Earth Productions, Blue Flame, Healing Odds and Occult Science, Temple, of the White Dragon. I look forward to speaking with many more of you soon. Be empowered, be encouraged. Hells! <laughs>